Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do an, a look using the City Mini Palette by Maybelline. It, I discussed this in my drugstore favorites and it's a great palette under 10 bucks. So I thought I would do a look. I tried to make this simple and easy for those of you that say, that have told me I don't know how to apply eyeshadow, I don't know how to do it, show me how to do it. I tried to do it as easy as I could and use as few brushes as I could, which I still probably used like six or seven, but I'll list the brushes I use below. Um, they're all really affordable. This video is a mix between drugstore and higher end products that I like. Yeah, so if you like this look and want to see how I accomplished it, then just keep watching. Hi. Okay, let's get started. Um, and I will show you how I achieved the look you just saw. Um, I'll start with right here. I burned myself with my flat iron the other day. I broke it, and but I still tried using it, so it was dangling. And then I've got like all these scabs. So that's what that is. Um, getting started, I did my eyebrows, and when I say did, I mean put a little color on them, and that's about it. And then I have on a tiny bit of mascara, not a lot, but just something, so I have like a little bit of color. Alrighty, so I like to always start with my eyes first. That way if I fall out um, from the shadows or just anything gets messed up, it's not going to mess up my all my foundation and concealer. So I always use an eyeshadow primer, always. If I ever forget, I always regret it. Um, so today I'm using the MAC Painterly Pro Long Wear Pot. So it's just a nice creamy, it's like this. I love this stuff, I've been using this for years. And I just use a flat, um, a flat brush to apply. Okay, yeah, I have to look in this mirror down here. This comes in all different colors, but this one I feel like is good for my skin tone. You can also use concealer. If you don't want to go out and buy a primer, concealers work well too. It just helps. Like It's really good if you're oily. It helps your shadow. For me, I notice it blends much better and it just stays put. I don't have creasing. Of course, I'm crazy dry, so I don't have oily eyes, like lids. But um, if you do have oily lids, this would be really good too to help so you don't get that crease. Okay. So we've got that on. And then I decided, I kind of went back and forth on what palette I wanted to use. But I figured I would just use the Maybelline City Mini Palette. This is the Shayla. It's really pretty. And I've talked about it before. I have a couple of these palettes and the quality is just unbelievable. You can see, it's so pretty. So you have three mattes and then three shimmers, glittery. Really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna start by taking this very nude color right there and I'm gonna apply this all over uh, my lid to set the primer. And I'm just using a Real Techniques brush um, you can use any kind of just kind of flat. You want a more dense um, brush to apply. So I'm just, and you want this color to be one that really is like vanilla, nothing that has a lot of color since you are applying it way up to your eyebrow and all over. I'm just basically just think of it as just kind of like setting that primer and getting your eyes ready for color. Okay, so got that and you don't have to do any kind of like, and I'm trying to do like a super easy look, nothing crazy that anybody can do. So anyone that says like, I don't know how to do eyeshadow, this hopefully, well my plan is to not do anything crazy and to not use a lot of brushes or anything. All right, so this does not really have, cause normally what I would do is I would go from this kind of color to like a little bit of a lighter brown. This does not actually have that, so I am gonna kind of cheat <clears throat> and go into this really awesome palette. This is the Kat Von D Metal, Matte Metals. Looks like that. I was gonna use this one, but I feel like more people probably have this other one. But I'm just going into this color called Suede. So it's just a very, very light kind of tan, and that's what I like to use 
for my transition shade. I'm using a really fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. It doesn't say the what it is, but just a really long fluffy brush since it's not like a dark color. And all I like to do is start at the outer corner and I just lightly, and my hand is way, way, way back. I just lightly go from outer to inner, kind of doing little circles. And I'm just creating more of a, um, definition right here since I don't have like a really I don't have a deep set eyeball <laughs> um, crease I'm kind of creating that and so this is just going to be a very light color you don't want to go in with like a really dark color right away because that can be really hard to blend and can just look just just trust me just do this so any kind of light tan or light peach um, and so that's how I like to go out in and I'm just doing little circular motions so that you don't have that harsh line right there so it's really blended and that looks good you don't have to be super particular about this because you're gonna go in with other colors so put that away and now I want to go in with a little more of a dense brush and I'm gonna be using the Morphe M411, you can see I already have brown shadow on it, but it's a little bit more dense than this first brush that we used. And so I can use a little bit darker color. So I'm gonna go back to this palette and I'm gonna go in with this brown, this dark brown right here. So I'm gonna lightly start on the outer corner and I just kind of put the shadow down with a very light hand, because this is a dark, brown and then I'm going to do the same thing I'm gonna kind of go and I am barely like putting any pressure on the brush it's hard to tell on camera but I'm barely putting pressure because this is very pigmented and if you if you have your hand like this it could be a very um, you could have harsh lines and it could look kind of muddy looking and streaky and this is just I just think you get a way better application doing this. So I'm just going back and forth and I'm letting it kind of cover the whole lid also, but you do want to keep it relatively low. You don't want to have it way up at your eyebrow. You can see that it's higher there, but that's okay because I'll fix that later. So kind of doing like that. And then I'm going to go to the other eye and do the same thing. Kind of place it on the corner and then kind of go into that crease and I like all the way into that inner corner. And you just kind of go back and forth. Eyeshadow takes a lot of patience, a lot of blending, like a lot of practice. So you can't just do it once and say like, it looks horrible. Like I can't, you have to just like continue to practice. And it's important that you have good brushes. And, they, and I don't mean good like expensive. I just mean the right brush. I guess I should say more like the correct brush for what you're wanting to do. Um, because if I was trying to do this with the first brush, it would be flying all over the place and I wouldn't have the same result. So they don't need to be expensive. Morphe brushes, these are like probably $5 a brush or six bucks. They're, and they're really good. These are probably what I use the most. So you can see it's just a lot of going back forth, back forth. You just have to be really, really patient. So then what I like to do is take that original brush and I kind of go on my hand and make sure there's no product on it. And then I like to take that to kind of blend everything out and kind of do that circular motion on the edges like that. Same thing here that okay so now I'm gonna go in with a flatter brush I think I want to use I've got a whole lot of different brushes sitting here I think that I want to use okay so I'll just go in with this one this is a crown brush I got it in my last boxy charm and it's flat and dense as you can see and it already has some brown on it so I'm just going back in and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the same brown, but now I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. Cause I'm thinking I don't wanna use any kind of, I like to apply all over my lid, especially when I don't feel like using eyeliner. And I don't, 
I feel like if I'm trying to make this video easier, I should not do eyeliner. We'll just keep it like more shadow because eyeliner is like a whole other, you know. So I'm very lightly just pressing this all over. And you can see there's fallout. That's okay. Just leave it. We'll get to that. We'll get to that later. And you're just pressing all over the lid. And kind of in the crease a little bit. Like that. Very, everything is just always like a really less is more when it comes to just the pressure that you use. And then go back with that first brush again, the fluffy with no additional product. And just kind of like blend, blend, like that. I'm going to try. Okay, so I'm trying to get some of that fallout because sometimes it'll work really well when you just do a brush and kind of go up with it, which that did, and sometimes it makes it worse. Okay? Okay. So then I just usually try to say like, okay, is it even? We're going to make it a little bit more fun. And I'm going to take a flat, another flat brush. This is a, this is so old. This is the MAC might be a 242 it's just a very flat small brush this is an awesome brush awesome and i've had it for years i'm gonna spray with mac fix plus like this do a few sprays and then i'm gonna go into this gorgeous gold color right there and tap it and i'm just gonna do it like a little bit in the center this is always fun to do like you could also just use your finger, but I like to, and I'm just kind of doing it right in the middle just to give a little, since this is such a matte look, just to give a little glow. You could just wet your brush with water too, but I just really like Fix Plus. And the Fix Plus, you can use for a lot more than just this. I spray it on my face. You can spray it before, you can spray it before you apply makeup, you can spray it after to set your makeup. Spray it during the day. So there's a lot of uses for it. So it's not like you're spending the money because I think it's like, I don't know, $24, $26 maybe. But I've had that same bottle for a long time. It lasts a long time. I'm going to add a little more here. Just basically trying to get everything kind of even. And that looks good and really it already it looks blended because we're trying to just keep this easy and there's no like harsh lines so I don't really even need to do anything you can just take your brown the brush you use for the brown and kind of just go like this if you just kind of want to like that looks good to me that looks really great to me let's move on to face and then we'll come back to the eyes because sometimes if the eyes just look like rough like sometimes I'll, I'll be doing it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks really bad. If I just leave it and go onto my eye makeup and then come back, then I'm like, oh, it didn't look as bad as I thought. All right, for primer, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This is silicone free. It's coconut water, probiotic based. I like it, it's good, moisturizing. I just do like two pumps, rub it, and I, I apply all over. So this just can really help your foundation go on smoother. Um, for me, it just gives me added um, moisturizer, which I always need. And of course, there are mattifying um, primers you can use too, oil control, all that kind of stuff. Whoa. Mm -hmm. But um, I feel like I'm, oh well. Foundation covers everything up, right? Right. For foundation, I am going to be using the, I love this, the Wet n Wild Photo Finish, Photo Focus, and then Buff Bisque. I love this stuff, and like it's like $5, I think. So shake it, and then I like the applicator because you don't have to get your hands dirty, and you just put it all over like that, which is nice. I don't really think that I'm even gonna be using 
because this stuff's pretty full coverage for me that since I'm trying to make this kind of like a more simple um, video, um, I'm not even gonna use, this is heavy enough that I'm not gonna even need to use concealer. And yeah, sometimes the color doesn't look great on me. This is definitely pretty peachy, but I'll make it work. And then I use um, my beauty blender. This one is from Sephora. I think it was like $5 and I love it. So you damp you dampen that. So this is already damp. And then um, pat all your makeup on. Um, I lied. I have like circles under my eyes. This has been a long week. And um, so I'm just going to use some of the Maybelline Fit Me. What is this? Maybelline Fit Me in what color am I? Fair Light or Fair. So I'm just going to use very little. More like right here. This is more just for like really like covering the circles. Just because it's like I said, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep and just... I could use a little bit of brightening. So, using the same sponge, and I'm just gonna tap that in. This is a really good drugstore concealer. I think it's, no, I actually have a couple, but I really, really like this one, it's good. All right, so now I'm gonna set all of this um, using the Charlotte Tilbury Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, and I have it in one fair. This is a very nice, fine powder. It's pricey, it's definitely pricey, but I love it. So I'm first gonna set my under eyes with, this is a Real Technique smaller brush, so I'm gonna go under and set it so I don't get all the creasing. Ow. I'm kind of like pressing as I'm setting, but I still always make sure to kind of hold it from far, far back. And then for my powder, for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use this Morphe E2, same powder, and just press everywhere. down my neck just make sure everything is set and pressed in so there's no creasing that's my thing is crease 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 okay now I'm gonna go in and bronze I'm gonna use the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer and this is luminous bright bronze I love hourglass products they're very pricey um, but for me, they're worth it. I actually got this bronzer in their smaller one. So this one's, look how small it is. It's pretty small, but I don't go through bronzer super fast. So the small one will last me a long time. So these, the way that they're meant, cause you can see there's two colors. They're meant to be swirled and then you kind of tap it. And I'm first gonna, when I say contour, this is what I mean. I'm not a big contour. I just like to do right here. And this is a Morphe uh, M530 little contour brush. So that's all I'm going to do with that. And then I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques. This is their Duo Fiber Face Brush. I love this for bronzer. So same bronzer. Swirl it, tap it. And then I'm going to start at my hairline. Bring some color in. Just kind of going where the sun would hit <laughs> if I ever got in the sun, which I really don't. My nose a little bit. And here, under, and down my neck. And like my hairline. That's good, right? That is good. 
Then I'm gonna use blush. I'm also gonna use the Hourglass. I love this blush. It's gorgeous, it's brilliant nude. So this is what it looks like. So you can see there's two colors swirled. This stuff just gives you like the most beautiful glow, you'll see. So I swirl in a circle and then just add a little color. So this is just like a very good, um, like nudie, nude, nude, I guess you could say nude. Well, obviously it's called brilliant nude. Brilliant nude. It's been a long week, have I mentioned that? All right. There you go with that. And sometimes if you have like a little bit of like, see right there where it's kind of dark. So you can take powder, which I don't have my loose powder with me. Sometimes you can just kind of like, take like a brush kind of like this and just kind of smooth it a little. There, that's better. Sometimes you just go a little bit harder with stuff. I'm gonna use Pixie. This is the Pixie Glowy Powder in London Luster. I love this highlighter. It's very beautiful. And I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23. This is the best bronzing, or I mean highlight. I love this brush. So I'm just gonna take it right here and take it right here and go my nose a little bit. My lips here, little here, little here, you know, just like on my scabs. I know. There. That's good. Ow. You can really just do it however you want it, but I always say more is better. Now we're gonna go back to the eyes, okay? Back to the eyes. And I am going to do, so above right here, under my brows, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the vanilla, and I'm just using a more dense, this is a, a BH Cosmetics number eight brush. It comes in that uh, rose gold um, set that I love. Like, I would buy another one, they're so good. And I'm just like, Lightly kind of brightening that, not too much. And then I like to do my inner corner and I'm gonna take the gold right here with the little pencil brush. This is a Sigma E30 and I'm gonna go in here and give a little, it's pretty. So see how it matches that, see that? Mm-hmm. All right, and then I'm gonna take this, which one do I wanna use? I'm gonna take this Morphe E18. It's just a dense, um, it's just a really dense brush that I like to use for under my eyes. It looks like this. And I'm gonna go in just with that brown light and start outer, I kind of match. So I'm take the outer, corner to the, where that glitter is and then I kind of match these up together. You can see that. And same thing over here. Just like so. And then I always like to take another brush and I love this Morphe E17. It's a little longer but it's still dense. And I like to use that to smoke out so it's not like a really blunt, defined type line. Just like that. See that? Okay, so I already did, normally this is when I would do my eyebrows, but those things are real good. And the only other thing I really have is um, I'm gonna apply more mascara. Oh heck, I'll just do it right here. So I'll fast forward through it so you don't like aren't going crazy. But I'm I, I like to use two because I like my eyelashes to be really, you know. Um, this is the Lancome Monster Big. It's really I love this mascara. It's like that. So
All right, got some mascara on. And then last is gonna be lipstick. And I think since this is kind of like a brown, what color should I use? You know, I think I'm going to go, golly. Hmm. I'm gonna go with brick. I think this is gonna be beautiful. This is Dose of Colors, which is like my favorite one. My very favorite brands. Okay, my camera just died. Um, probably because it's been way too long. But I have my um, lipstick on. Like I said, Dose of Colors, Brooke. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I tried to make it relatively simple. Um, nothing too crazy. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any requests, any looks you want to see. Whatever. Um, this is an awesome, wonderful palette. And like I said, $8 maybe? I really can't tell you, but I think it's under 10 So this is a really good um, eyeshadow palette. I love it. Um, yeah, so as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.